Was cool. that the, the live that I took a photo of a cannon? Yeah. 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 The guy right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Yeah, right about there is going to be good. You can even back up just a little bit towards that. Right about there is going to be just right. I like the material you all got. Now, um, color-wise, the blues on your dress are going to turn very light. Um, so they may even kind of turn white. The, cool. the gold colors and red colors on your dress are going to turn dark, so we're going to get a kind of unique color scale as it pops out. All right, I'm going to get our plate started. So first things first, when we're taking a wet plate, we're going to pour a chemical emulsion which is made of ether, collodion, and grain alcohol. It also contains cadmium bromide, ammonium bromide, and potassium iodide. Just going to flow that there. I only spill when people are filming me. Okay. Never fails. Never fails. Nobody would ever know that. It might have been something you planned on doing. Say whenever I start video and I'm going stitching, mm -hmm. stitching without fail, I tangle my thread. Of course, it knows. I'll pour these plates. I've poured plates all day today. Haven't spilled a drop. Of course, as soon as there's a camera on, it just. All right, now to make this plate light sensitive, we're going to put it in a bath of silver nitrate. Silver is a sensitizer, and when it reacts with sunlight, it tarnishes. So what's going to happen is the light is going to cast off of you guys and get focused through our lens here. And then it's going to cast onto the back plate and create what's called a latent image. So there will be an image on the plate that we can't see with our eyes. So to pull it out, we're going to use Developer, which is made of glacial acidic acid and ferrous sulfate and grain alcohol. And that's going to bring up a negative, and then we'll stop that with water, and then bring it out, and we're going to use our fixer, which is potassium cyanide. And that's going to flip it from a negative to a positive. So we get to watch all that part too. It's getting windy, I guess. Yeah. It's great. All right, so I'm going to get our camera in focus here. We're using a, a mid 1850s lens, which would be a little outdated for this time period, but it, they're probably still hobbyists. Oh, I'm sure. I've got a friend who uh, his dad fought in Italy in World War II. And uh, when he was in Anzio, I think, got a tintype made. There's somebody still shooting tintypes in the 1940s. Can I come back there and look? Absolutely. Come on. Okay. I was just going to have you come on back so you can look through the lens here. So we're getting it. So there's going to be a little bit of play. Mm -hmm, yep, everything's going to be so, upside down yep, and it, reversed, and too. And it is very much that way. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. So I'm going to get you dialed in, and then I'm going to put posing stands behind you. Even though we're doing a short exposure, it's only going to be about eight or nine seconds. Um, I'm still going to put stands behind you so you don't Because okay. you don't realize when you're trying to stand still that you move a lot, so stands are very helpful. Well, I never even would figure. I constantly get asked if those are the stands they use in postmortems, and they don't use those stands in postmortems. I was say, it would not support the body. Absolutely not. I even had to make a video for one of my postmortem groups showing how weak they are, and they're like, oh, well, they, they, they must have tied the bodies to them. So I tied myself to a stand, <laughs> fell over a few times. Still have people who are like, well, I think it's a paper mache stand, or you know, it's it's made of plastic. So, I'm wailing on it with a metal sword just to show them that it's a real people when they want to believe something. Oh, these are your stands, huh? Yep. So these are the stands. Interesting. Now there's X's on the wall back there. If you pick okay, one of those okay. to look at, that'll probably help you focus while we're shooting. 
I'd probably pink dress. I'd probably have you look at the X on the green box, and uh, plaid dress. You're gonna look at the X on the white sheet of paper. All right. It's funny because I was already looking at that one. Perfect. You're ahead of the game. Go figure. I never thought they did something like that. It does help. It you really can, does. You can tell if you're moving. I'm really bad at being in these photos, so if I don't have a stand, I am a horrible blur. I suddenly feel like I'm at the doctor, like the dentist office. Right. <laughs> but when they're taking your X-ray for your mouth. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to open up the dark slide and get our watch ready. Are you ladies ready? Mm -hmm. You can blink and breathe as much as you need to. Just try to hold as still as you can. And here we go. Click. You did it. <laughs> All right. For some reason, sight is running low. As soon as that lens, like, every, 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 I can, that like eight seconds, that's not a problem. As soon as the lens cap comes off, you're like, oh no, oh no, I'm moving all over the place and I'm blinking everywhere. It's just, so, do we want to take a break now? Yeah, you guys can relax. Yeah. Can develop it real quick. I'm oh, sorry. No. I'll be right back out. And mom, if you wouldn't mind, right behind that musket butt, uh, the right hand light switch, go ahead and switch that off. There we go. That'll cut the glare off the water. I found that's the only way to film these. So we're going to pour a bath of potassium cyanide, which is our fixer. Now what's in this one? This is just water. Okay. Now. I have to be extra careful with the plate because it's just a thin layer of chemical. If I wiped my finger across there, the image would come right off. So we're going to take the negative. Everything cool is going to happen in this tray. Here, go that down. And into the cyanide. That's going to turn to a positive. Holy smokes. <laughs> now that is pretty awesome. Oh, I love it. It's looking good. It's so cool. You can see how much the blue whited out. Mm-hmm. You can still tell it there's plaid. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's looking cool. Looking good. Yeah. And so, does it matter how long it sits in that cyanide? It does. Okay. Now, the cyanide is one of the slower reactors of all my uh, developers and emulsions. Um, the longer it stays in there, the darker the image is going to get. Okay. So you now just it can, basically eye it and see what's pleasing mm -hmm. to the eye. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab my phone. It can stay in this <laughs> indefinitely. Okay. And then we'll rinse that and throw it in the oven. It'll brighten up a little bit as it dries, and then we'll put a varnish on it so that it isn't scratchable. See, I was wondering if we were going to have to come back the next day or not and get it. No, it'll be ready for you. It doesn't take that long to make these things ready to roll. From the time I do the emulsion, it's about 15 minutes to dry it, varnish it, dry it again. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we should try to look happier in the next one. <laughs> so, so serious. Are you going to sit down or stay in the next uh, one? What do you want to do, Summer? Do you want to try one sitting down? Sure. I put it out and stuck on the wall and then just uh, took a, a tin type of a picture. Mm -hmm. still pretty neat. Is that all right? Wow. I guess I'm going to get a new roof after this weekend. Let's not hope that it right now. Yeah, right? <laughs> so is that the varnish? Yeah, that's the varnish. Yep. So this is made of gum sandarac, lavender, and grain alcohol. Oh. And you make it up yourself? Mm-hmm. So this is my uh poison. This is my little chem lab. Ooh. So we make all of our chemicals here in house. Mainly because it's hard to find. And it smells good too. It does, yeah. This is the only <laughs> one that smells good. <laughs> smell terrible. I can smell it a little bit. You'll, you'll smell it more once it starts baking. Um, you'll get that nice lavender smell. I don't have the best smell. I don't either, which is good for this because we have a lot of ether. <laughs> well, this stuff smells really terrible. Bad. Yeah. You don't want to put yourself to sleep. Oh yeah, my, uh, my assistant did that on accident. <laughs> oh no. She was up here. She was, it was a super busy day. And um, a group had gotten their, their wet plate done and they wanted to get another one in. And she had just enough time. And so she's trying to hustle them around and she's talking to them and opening up the bottle and talking at the same time and then just, well, oh. catch up. All right. Um, next, next one. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. So here's how it looks landscape. Okay. And that's how it looks. Portrait. portrait. And yes, I like the portrait. Sounds good. Let me get you guys in the focus. I'd say for this one, I'd like you looking. I'm going to take this shroud off. There's an X right above the lens. Okay. Look just right above the lens. When you look right at the lens, sometimes it can get a little Smile weird. Smile with your eyes. Well, we're not taking it right Yeah, but practice. <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Your X right here. Blinking and breathing only. And here we go. Now, I don't know if the folks could tell, but you had a watch in your hand. Yep. Very good. A little pocket watch. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. Relax. If you wouldn't mind hitting my light switch again over there for me. This is always the best part. Yep. I mean, I've shot 10,000 plus plates, and I never get tired of this. Even when I shoot my test plates in my chair every single day, I always like watching it. I, say, I feel like I could get addicted to doing that. It's very addicting. <laughs> I run workshops and immediately afterwards, hey, how do I buy a camera? Well, that must be interesting. That's the hardest part, it's finding finding all the stuff. I'm sure though you can. If you have patience and, you know, ask all the right questions, you can find stuff. Dun, 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 dun. So cool. Changes. Oh, we look a little happier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks good. The background looks so cool on there. It, it really does. It's it's my favorite for like post Civil War, like Victorian into Edwardian. That's my favorite backdrop. I feel like it brings skin tones out really nice. Yeah. And you know something, it looks muted there, but it shows yeah. up. It, yeah, it really pops, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, so the, the camera is an orthochromatic color scale, so it sees things completely different than the way we see them. You know, that would be a really dull, boring DSLR backdrop, but for this camera, it's like, oh, all those rich blue grays, that's, mm -hmm. that's big money for that. That, that camera loves it. So just for the sake of the video, you always put your little frames on to get the good idea of what mm -hmm. the picture will Because otherwise, like. that's just kind of the ground glass in the back, and I use these templates to kind of block everything out. Right. So if I'm shooting you know, a quarter plate, that's how it would look. Okay. And down to a sixth plate. And then if somebody uh, has a frame, I usually use the oval loop of a frame. Oh, yeah. So that I'm not, you don't put it in your frame and all of a sudden your head's cut off or right. the important parts are missing. Very good. There's another one that we had to recreate. It was a group shot of four people. And it must have been hard for the real photographer to do it, so he must have kind of shot from an angle. So you can see the rest of his studio. There's like a whole bunch of junk in the back. So I had to get like some chairs and a, and a door and a bunch of posing stands and like mm -hmm. put them all off to the side like there's extra nonsense in the studio. And it was a hard one to shoot. I had to actually shoot from down the hall to do that one. Wow. Get over so here. Let's have um, blue dress is going to be green box, pink dress, white X. All right, I'm going to go grab our plate and we'll be ready to shoot. So we're making good time for being on our third plate. Yeah, awesome. Are you two ready? Yep. All right. Here we go. Blinking and breathing only. And here we go. And five, four, three, two, one. There we go. That's Not bad at all. <laughs> all right. I'm going to roll this out of the way. And let the magic begin. Mm -hmm. I'd love to be able to show you the development process in the darkroom, but it's really tiny in there yeah. and yeah, don't want to poison all over your dresses.
All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. And here. Could do a development. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So much fun. Mm -hmm. I like how it almost looks wrinkled when it develops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's the the collodion is not entirely poured evenly across there because it's got to flow all over the, the plate. It looks like what he's doing Sure. Oh, that's cool. So it's going to be at this line okay. right there. Yeah, that looks good. It's a little frame, like right about there. So I'm shooting from. Yeah, so right you look good. There. I'll stand on this side when I shoot this time. It's fine. This is actually my normal shooting side. Oh. I just had the, the um, cable out a little too far, so I had to shoot on that side. Not as thin as I was a couple months ago. <laughs> yes, you're just relax. You don't have to hold it yet. Okay. Are you ready? I think so. Blinking and breathing only. And here. Oh, wait. No. And five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I blink at the very end. <laughs> you could have probably walked away in the last second and wouldn't really? change anything. So that's how I do those ghost photos. Um, like, if I open up the lens and I just walked right through your shot, I wouldn't show up one bit. Um, now, if I stood next to you for like four or five seconds and then walked away, it would just leave a ghost of me. Oh, that's fine. I was wondering. It's actually easier to take a ghost photo on a wet plate camera than it is on Photoshop. Down, so we're not worried about it. Yeah, I got my first gray hair when I was seven because I was terrified of storms. Really? Yep. I, I have a, a recurring dream from probably about seven or eight years old, and it's about a tornado in our in our in our backyard. But it, I watch it go across the backyard, and then it comes out. It's really fast, and it blows right through the dining room window, and it's a cardboard cutout of a tornado. <laughs> hey, I used to have recurring dreams of ET. Really? Yeah, he would just be under the stairs. I'd walk uh -huh. down the stairs. You never see like the upper half of the right, right. Just walk down the stairs, walk by him, and that was it. But it terrified it's me. Wild. Sometimes he one time he was looking through a knot hole on a board, and the other mm -hmm. time he was looking through a wa little like wagon handle. That's funny. So random. But yeah, but yeah, I, I did not like so ET. So we enjoy pestering her with images of ET whenever we're <laughs> so like Savannah. Hey, look! I don't, like dislike him as much as I used to. Just where are you yeah. going? Oh, I like it. I like it. Like it. Good. Yeah. The antique collar is working it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that looks That's really beautiful. Good. Yay. <laughs> and uh, same thing, kind of from the about the hands up, or is this? Yeah, right, just cool. do it sem out similar Very to the similar one. To what we had I guess done I want to get to see this too. Yeah, come on back here. Try not to hit anything with my skirt here. Oh yeah, that looks good. Take a look in there. <laughs> looks cool, Summer. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe we'll come back someday and get some more. That would actually be kind of a cool experiment. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have anything coming up in your area. 
I tend to trend north in the Midwest. I'm going to plan something in 10 years. Yeah, there you go. Still looks good. <laughs> Just double check. There's anybody for else down in your area too. Yeah. I don't know any like Alabama. I mean, but we're I know, used to having like to drive Nashville, a little bit. Memphis. I know some some people yeah. in that area. Uh, Giles Clement is out there. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. I know there's another one. I'll have to just put the call out. Like, who who shoots what place in this area? <laughs> Like maybe you Nashville 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 Nashville. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know Jill Wyman was just in Nashville and he just left. And there's a girl out there too, and I don't remember her name. Sarah something. Sarah B. Alright. Blinking and breathing only. And here we go. I feel like there's an art just for taking that off. <laughs> Telling me I'd like struggle putting it Yeah. <laughs> this one's easy. I've got one downstairs. It's got a leather cap and it fluctuates in size. And um. so sometimes you have to set it just on the edge so that you don't like shake the camera taking it off. So I need to get a new one made for that camera. Like I said, this part never gets old. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Too. I think they both turned out great. I think it's cool how the um, lace bows look almost like ghosts. Uh huh. There we are. I really do love that backdrop for yeah. these style dresses. Mm -hmm. I don't like laying these things. Oh, flat that's I cool. Dust collects on them. So I'm going to set these here. Alright. So we're going to take our plate and just pour varnish right on top. Blow it from corner to corner. That's a skill right there. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and I didn't spill this time. What's it called when water has it, the other when it um, kind of can bubble like it holds its own? Viscosity. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's the word. So the viscosity of this fluid, think of like pure maple syrup warmed up. Okay. So it's not water, but it's not thick. Yeah. Um, it moves pretty quick. Okay, well, this was a really nice experience. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in. It was a lot of fun. You guys, thank uh, you so uh, much made some great dresses, and uh, they worked well with the backdrop, and everything looked really good. So, thanks for these, watching the video. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah, not a problem at all. I'll, I'll take free advertising. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. So, um, these are all ready to go in their envelopes. Um, they're they're dry. They're not cured yet. They'll be cured mm -hmm. in about 24 hours, so don't like shove a thumbprint into them. Okay. But, um, okay. After uh, after about 24 hours, they sh they're pretty much good to go. They're very durable. <laughs> oh yeah. So what did you think?
cool.